Shelley came into the office and she was very excited. She said that Natalie was testing for a role in a movie with a very famous French director. The audition would change Natalie's life forever. I read this intense script that was going to require a young girl to do some pretty incredible things. So I was very concerned about finding a little girl whose parents would let her do it. By 1994, 12-year-old Natalie Portman had just completed a stint off-Broadway and was about to audition for her first film. I'm Natalie Hirschlag, and I was born June 9, 1981. I was presented with the task of finding an adolescent girl who could smoke, curse, and think she was in love with a 40-year-old man. Imagine that. It was pretty intense. French filmmaker Luc Besson was set to shoot Leon, the Professional, a film about an assassin who rescues an orphaned girl from being murdered. When Natalie came to audition, I walked out of my office into my reception area and I saw a little girl buried in a book. There was no hairbrushes, there were no bows or clips or primping. When Natalie came in and sat down, it was like sitting across from a contemporary. She spoke like an adult, and the intelligence behind her eyes was just so clear. I just didn't think it was going to work out because she was so young. So I said, thank you, but this is not going to work. 200 other girls would audition for the part of Matilda, but Besson was unimpressed. I got this overseas phone call, and he was very upset because all the girls that I sent him were 14, 15, 16 years old. And he said, I need the girl who thinks she knows sex, not the girl who knows sex. Natalie got a call back. What's your name? Matilda. What about you? Leon. Cute name, Leon. My kid brother, I'm sure they killed him. Four years old, never did anything. So beautiful. Luke said to Natalie, I want you to imagine you see your whole family is shot. Your father is dead. Your baby brother is also under the bed, dead. And Natalie just started weeping. Weeping, uncontrollably weeping. I was more of a mother to him than that damn pig ever was. Hey, in retrospect, I realized that Natalie, coming from a completely happy home, nuclear family, no siblings, was still able to imagine this horrific situation and react to it, truthfully. And none of the other actors that auditioned for that part during that process came close to that. It was a no-brainer. Natalie landed the gritty role. The script walked a fine line. When it started to become clear that Luc Besson wanted Natalie above all others, Avner Herschlag really started to pick apart the script page by page. My parents were like, there is no way you're doing this movie. This is absolutely inappropriate for a child your age to be doing this film. And I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever read. You're going to ruin my life. And it was basically just fighting with them so much. One of the things my parents were particularly concerned about was the smoking. The character of Matilda smoked cigarettes. And her dad said, that's out. That's not out. She must. And he said, well, then Natalie's out. So Luke said, OK, OK, maybe she can smoke in the beginning, and Leon can make her stop. And so he said, OK. The sexual overtones of the film, things that my parents tried to scale down. The professional has a very unsavory undercurrent. He is sort of taken this 45-year-old killer with this young girl. So it's a very edgy, tricky kind of thing. But there Natalie was with this 
wonderful opportunity that would lead the way to what she would do with the career that she was going to have. With the role came a warning from the film's casting director. I said, two things are going to happen if you let Natalie do this. One, she's going to become an international star. And two, she's going to become the object of a lot of weirdos' affection. And this is something you're going to have to contend with for her entire childhood. To protect her privacy, Natalie adopted a stage name. Natalie Hirschlag was now Natalie Portman. Portman is the um, maiden name of her grandmother, so she achieves her goal of maintaining uh, a small degree of privacy um, and insulation from the public eye. When the professional opened, Natalie's provocative performance stole the show. At the premiere, a renowned actor that I was familiar with came up to me and said, the thoughts that I am thinking right now are making me feel queasy, and I am sure I am not the only man in this room who has those same thoughts. She impressed people as is what an extraordinarily beautiful child we have here who has obviously this grace in this built-in elegance and this maturity beyond her years. She was just a natural. I mean, when she stood at that door and knocked on that door and the tears were rolling down her eyes, she, she was just wonderful. The praise for her work in that movie is unprecedented. On the heels of her debut performance, Hollywood was hooked, and filmmakers lined up to work with the young actress.